In this tip, I'm talking about this bowed wrist at the top of your backswing. In no way do I teach this, and I need you to immediately stop working on that. So this is kind of a new trend. You see a Dustin Johnson do it, Colin Morikawa do it, you know, I think John Rahm has a little bit of that in there. Yet yeah, that is never going to work for you. <laughs> you know, maybe as a younger person, but if you are over, let's say, 40 years old, never, ever, ever do that. So throughout the years I've been teaching now, this is my 33rd year of teaching golf. And you know, I have seen that countless times over the years. You know who typically does that? Little kids. You know why little kids have a bowed wrist at the top? Because they pull the golf club back with their stronger bottom hand. So if this hand is really weak and they pull it back with this hand, they bow the wrist. The problem with that is it shuts the club face at the top of the backswing. So what is that going to do? That is going to make you hook every single shot. The only way you are going to square that face with a bowed wrist is if you have upwards of 60 degree hip rotation. How do I know that? Because <laughs> little kids have excess hip rotation. It's real easy for kids to do it. It's almost impossible for adults to do it. If you learned as an adult, there is no way on earth that is ever going to work for you. Because there is no way on earth you are going to get your hips turning more <laughs> like that, like a pro at impact. So I know <laughs> if you've been slicing the ball and you do this and you hit a couple hooks, wow, look, it works. It, I'm hooking it. Again, the problem is that requires a lot of hip rotation, which you are never going to get. Okay. If you ever want to check it out, type in Dustin Johnson, Colin Morikawa. They did a video together and I froze them at impact. Both of them are a little bowed, well, Colin Morikawa, little bowed, Dustin Johnson, severely bowed at the top. Both of them have at least 60 degree hip rotation. So if you listen to them in the video, well, Morikawa <laughs> said that he didn't take lessons or didn't have lessons. There's another video out there with Dustin Johnson saying he did not have lessons as a kid. So that is the position I have fixed over the years for usually little kids that are pulling the back, pulling the golf club back with that hand. Okay, so they see a couple pros do it, go, hey, you got to bow your wrist at the top. Yeah, problem is <laughs> you need excess hip rotation just to hit the club or hit the ball uh, fairly straight. Okay, otherwise you're going to hook it off the planet. So why am I saying that? Well, take a look. I go like this, right? Let's say I do a two knuckle grip and now I bow my wrist. That is what just happened. That club face is 45 degrees closed. So if you swung that like this, every ball would be a massive hook. What is also happening when you bow like that, you're taking all the loft off your golf club. If you had a long iron, you wouldn't even get it airborne. There's no loft on your club. Okay, so that's what I'm getting at. Go like this, bow your wrist, that's what's happening. Now take that, bring it up to the top, that face is dead shut. So right here, if you release that golf club, it would be a massive hook. Right here, watch, boom, there's my wrist bowed. If I go to the top, that face is dead closed. That ball just went into those rocks right here. So what are you going to have to do to hit it straight? Well, you're going to have to do something. So you're going to either have to have 60 degree hip rotation, which you're never going to get if you're 40 and above, let's say, or if you started as an adult, that is never going to happen. Or what you're going to have to do is lock your wrists. You're going to have to lock it like this. Lock. Okay. Problem is, remember, there's no loft on your golf club or minimal loft. You hit a long iron, you are never going to get it in the air. You do that with driver, you're certainly not going to get it in the air. 
So you're going to hit these low hooks and wonder why you can't get the ball up in the air. Yeah, because there's no loft on your golf club. Okay, so like I said, I've seen this countless times and I have fixed countless younger players that are doing this. So how your golf club actually hinges in your golf swing is like this. So you're in your two knuckle position, your wrists go this way. That's your hinge in your golf swing. You go like that and then move that to the top, right there. I'll do it from here, right here, up, right there. Now, if I bring that to the top, the face right here is matching my lead arm. That is a square club face at the top of the backswing. So I don't need excess rotation just to hit a straight shot. All right, so, you know, <laughs> I've been seeing this over and over again. You get a few good players doing it. Keep in mind, they're tour pros. They've been doing it since they've been little kids. That is what they said. I heard them say it. They didn't have lessons as a kid. So they figured it out. But little kids, it's easy for them to get excess rotation and impact. An adult is never gonna do that. How do I know that? Because this is who I teach on a daily basis. You know, 40 and up, basically. I do teach some younger people, but, you know, 40 and above, and especially 60 and up, that's kind of my wheelhouse. And they have zero hip rotation. You imagine a 70-year-old trying to go like that? Like, it's never going to happen, ever. Okay, so, like I said, that's the reason I did this tip. I keep seeing this, and I know people are working on this. I've had numerous students try to do this unsuccessfully. So now I have to fix them. Okay, so I know <laughs> lots of YouTube tips out there. <laughs> lots of stuff. Okay, go ahead, try it. After it doesn't work, then let's go back to a square position, hinging the golf club properly, keeping our wrists nice and loose, right here, up here, go to here, loose wrists, and then you will hit it longer and straighter with minimal effort. All right. So hopefully you see it. Please do not be working on that bowed wrist, uh, if, uh, especially if you learned golf as an adult, because it will never happen. Okay, so hopefully I can get you on track and then we'll get you playing the best golf of your life. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. Here's another tip that's going to help you improve your swing. Now, right below that, don't forget to click on that link because I'm going to send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that'll take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing.